All right, guys. So after you've completed kind of doing your site plan, approximately where that's at, and showing your axial arrangement, um, showing your porches. So remember that you went from this drawing to this drawing to locate your second porch. Now that should come back over here and be shown here. Okay. So you should have your, your, your floor plan and your site plan. The, the next thing I want you guys to do is you covered your, your cube with paper, right? I want you to start drawing this stuff onto the cube, your, your two porches. So you're going to make a decision on how high they are. Okay. Um, you're going to end up with three windows, right? That are going to illuminate that podium. They're not very big windows. They're, they're, you know, you, they're going to be all different sizes. These are not done correctly. But in addition to those windows, right? And maybe after you've figured out where you're putting the podium, and where you're putting those windows, your job is going to be to continue to articulate the outside as well as the inside by creating additional spatial and surface subtractions. So I'm using this one. This is Lauren Mendoza's. Lauren's now in, in second term design. Um, she did a very nice job on her cube. And you can see that she's, she's got one large spatial subtraction here that I believe is the entry. Okay. No, this is the this is the sunset porch. So this is the entry here. So she's got one large spatial subtraction. Then she's got a second one that comes up and creates kind of a deep recess here. All right. And then she's got another spatial subtraction on this side that actually creates a bench or creates a, a counter on the inside. All right. Because remember in the section. So if I'm looking at this section right here, and uh, I lost my pencil right here. If I create a recess here on the outside, <coughs> right? So say I do a, a spatial subtraction right there, which is what she did. On the inside, that becomes like a counter. You can do them so that they become a bench. You can do them so they become a high shelf. But one of the things that we want you guys to be thinking about is the relationship of what the exterior form is to the interior form of the building. And, and understand that, that there's a strong relationship at times between the two. So you're, you're to, to, you can see how we've approached design in a very sort of sequential fashion, right? So we're kind of taking it in steps. And you can also see that with, with almost every step, we've had to stop and kind of rethink about it and reanalyze it and decide if we're going to make an adjustment. Okay? That, those are key things. Those are what, If I can teach you something really important about design is that it's this fluid moving process. It does not follow any, like, simple straight line. Okay? So now you guys are going to start to look at it in terms of aesthetics, right? And so you're going to start to take, you've got the two main porches sort of decided upon, right? Now you've got to start to add additional articulations, spatial, right? So for each of the, each of the sides, you're going to have to add between three and five additional spatial subtractions to the to the one that you already have okay so like in lauren's case she's this was her initial one right here the porch so she did one that went up another one that went back and then she did one that went sideways and then sideways again and linked up to this one and then on this side she went up and then back okay so in addition to the spatial subtractions we're also asking you to do a minimal amount of surface subtraction. So this, you know, I'm kind of showing you what she's sort of done. And you can see that what she did is she keyed off of, in this particular case right here, she keyed off of the location of one of the solar windows for the podium, and she's created these items in relationship to it. Okay. Um, one of the things that I would encourage you to do is to look at creating very thin, narrow bands for the surface subtraction rather than creating big, fat cuts, 
the narrow bounds tend to add a level of elegance to the cube that you won't get if you create like a big thick cutout. Okay, the, the spatial subtractions can be big, right? They can be much larger and thicker. But part of what I find attractive about this particular design is that it's fairly simple. There aren't 10 million subtractions all over, right? She's kind of limited her subtractions and tried to do something sort of artistic with them. Okay, all right. Is there any questions about that? So right now, what I'm asking you guys to do is I'm asking you to update your site plan, update your sections, right? Take an initial attempt at where you might put the podium. So you're gonna that that podium you will show and plan. So all right, I'm gonna put the podium here, right? And that that'll have an impact on where it sits in section. Okay. And and after that, you can start to kind of decide where these windows are gonna be really imperative when you see your um, when you see your your digital one faculty member tell them that we are now in the final design phases of this box and that they need to provide you the tools to finish designing the box okay all right any questions all right so i'm gonna let you guys work on that a little bit and then i've got some additional readings that i'm going to want you guys to do um, that are directly related to subtraction. Okay? All right.